just going to wait a minute. Hi, everyone. Um, it's half past four. Saturday, the 8th of October. I just thought I'd come on and say hello and make sure everyone can hear me. So if you can hear me, let me know. And if you can hear me clearly as well, um, just let me know. I'll just make sure that it's all volumes up um, and everything's good. How are you all? Hope you're having fun. Um, right, in no particular order. Okay. How is everyone? Are you, are you enjoying your sunny Saturday? Let's have a chat. Hi Jay, how are, you? how are you? Are you enjoying the raw milk? We've got a raw milk group going and it's actually uh, it's, it's actually really good. We're getting milk delivered to our doorstep. It's actually pretty good. And the milk is amazing. Hi Priscilla. Hi everyone. So I thought I'd come on and have a little chat. Hi Chris. Um, someone wants to join me already. Like Alan Smith, I don't know. I don't know who you are. Sorry, it must be a mistake. Um, sometimes it happens. You're right. How is everyone? Hi, Billy. So I'm just going to do a bit of reading. So if you want to bear with me today, uh, we're going to do a bit of courtroom reading. We've got some amazing things going on um, behind the scenes. Can you all hear me okay? I've got these headsets to try and take away the background noise. Um, so I just want to check you can hear me. Hi, Joyce. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd... Oh, there's a lot of crap going on right now, isn't there? There's a lot of crap. Hi. Cool. You can hear me. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, there is a lot of... Oh, wow. I'm so impressed with the people. The behind the scenes work from some very determined people. Um, it's just amazing. Amazing. People power. That's all I can say. Oh, thank you. Sound is clear. Um, afternoon. Hi, Lisa. People power is absolutely amazing. Now, I know I'm getting shadow banned. It's absolutely infuriating. So some people will say, oh, you know, Facebook is like an uh, eco chamber. You're only talking to the people on your Facebook. Uh, so, but it's up to you guys to share the contents because I am getting shadow banned along with many, many others who are speaking up online. And we know this because when you share any post of mine, a lot of people can't see it. There is a reason to that. They don't want you to see it. Because when you have a voice and you're making a difference and you're creating an impact, the powers that be don't like that. So they don't want you to see whatever I say. The only way to get past that is to share it in groups, share it directly in inboxes, share it uh, on your Facebook if you can, tag people. Now, I'm not telling you to do this because I want you to share my stuff. You can do to whoever. The only reason I'm asking you is to do it this way is so that we can get the message out. Why do we want to get the message out? Because we want to wake people up. We want to get people fighting the system. Shall I say challenging? not fighting. We don't want people fighting. Let's retract that. I retract the word fighting. Uh, we want to challenge the system. That's what we want to do. And the only way people are going to know how to challenge the system is by watching other people who are also doing it um, and by listening to people like myself, people like Jason Nota, people like, you know, uh, Ellie Gray and Richard Shaw and uh, Jamie and, you know, amazing people that have got a voice, okay? And they're getting shadow banned. 
that's why they don't want you listening. So we will try and put as much as we can out there for everybody to listen to, to research. The one thing I will always say is you have to go and then take what I say, what everyone else says, do your due diligence, do your own research, don't take everything we say as gospel because guess what? There is no right answer for this. Hi Bill, hi James. There's no right answer. No one has the right answer, but everybody's trying and I will support anyone and everyone who is challenging the system and fighting for their freedom. Okay, that's what I will do. I'm not gonna say one person's wrong and the other person shouldn't be doing it like this or I don't believe in this and I don't believe in that and this is wrong and that's, you know, I'm not gonna discriminate anyone that wants to hold title to their like legal fiction and, and fight with their straw man and believe in the little, I don't care as long as you are challenging the system, as long as you are creating a ripple in the system. And so, hi Antonella, and that's what the, the thing is. Now, if you've got a mortgage and you want to challenge the council tax, my advice to you is, and please listen very carefully because I want to make sure that I get this out clearly, that I don't give people the wrong information and I'm not putting people in debt uh, or in harm's way, okay? because that's not what I'm about. Um, my advice to you is please challenge them. Don't just stop paying your council tax, challenge them. You may not get anywhere yet. Maybe this time next year, it'll be a whole different story, okay? But the reason you are going to challenge them is because you're gonna keep putting a dent in the system. You're gonna put pressure on them. But while you're challenging them, put your money away. I know it's hard, but if you cannot be in control of your own finances and you, you know, just find a way to put that money away and don't touch it, because you will probably get, you will more than likely get to a stage where, you're gonna to need to pay it. But even if that takes six months, if you've got 10,000 people challenging it in that six months, you are creating a dent in their system. You're putting pressure in the system. That's why it's important for you to at least challenge it. Even if you get nowhere, just please do something. Because we need everybody, everybody to do something. This is why I need you guys to not just share this video on your Facebook. I need you to tag people. I need you to share it in their inboxes, in groups. Share it as much as you can because I'm being shadow banned so people are not going to hear me. And what I'm trying to say is we need everybody doing something because there is a lot of pressure on the system right now. And so we need to create that avalanche. And the only way we can do that is if everybody does something. Okay, that's that simple. Everybody needs to be doing something. Um, if you do it like me, I've been doing return to sender. I don't really care because I've got nothing to lose as such. And it is unlike, you cannot go to prison for non-payment of council tax, okay? So anyone that still believes that you will go to prison for non-payment of council tax, you are mistaken. It is against your human rights. In fact, in no particular order, I've got things saved and open. Uh, in the European Convention of Human Rights, Article, page 36, Article 1, prohibition of imprisonment for a debt. You cannot go to prison for a debt. No one shall be deprived of his liberty merely on the ground of an inability to fulfill a contractual obligation. Now, actually, if we look at this, very powerful words, it says to fulfill a contractual obligation. There is no contract in council tax. Please share, 
please put it in groups please put it in send it to even if you send it to 10 people in your inbox they might just look at me and think i'm a crazy woman or they might i might be the 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 one person they need to listen to that will make them think oh actually there are thousands of people fighting this and we need you on board we need people power here now if if you're one of these people that have woken up you've had your vaccine you've regretted having it many many people have oh thousands of people have now regretted having it you're now in a situation where you're going to be struggling financially because of the rise in the utility bills uh the rise in food the rise in petrol diesel everything has gone up like it's disgusting it's disgusting okay hi chrissy it was great to meet you the other week i'm actually going to talk about the other week today chrissy it was amazing um if you're one of these people that like everyone you're struggling okay this is the time where we need you if you're watching this video and you're seeing me for the first time we need you to challenge the system the system's slowly collapsing the people are running scared well, i say the people sorry not the people uh the magistrates the judges the corporations they're not the people uh, they're the corrupt system. They're running scared, okay? And the more pressure people, the, the true living people like us, me, you, okay, the ones that are struggling, the uh, I call us the underdogs, because um, if you are an honest living person, I don't care if you've got wealth, if you've got a mansion, if you, if you are living honestly, you are still the underdog to them. Um, we're putting pressure on them. We are, everyone. And I don't care how you do it, as long as you do it. So we've got, um, Mark Horn has got, he's an amazing, amazing man, Mark Horn. He's got the uh, Knock Knock Challenge. He's got a website called The Peacekeepers. I can put the link here if you want to do it. You can do his course. And you can challenge anything, anything, not just council tax, you can challenge parking tickets, you, you can challenge whatever, whatever you want to, because if there is no contract, if you did not sign a piece of paper, or you weren't at that meeting, then you were not part of the meeting of minds. So therefore, there's no contract. Therefore, there is no obligation to you because you weren't there. You didn't take part in the meeting. You didn't sign a contract. There is no obligation to you. That's why this uh, European Convention of Human Rights, page 36, article 31, the prohibition of imprisonment for debt is so strong because no one shall be deprived of his liberty merely on the ground of the inability to fulfill a contractual obligation. There's no contract. Uh, a contractual ob obligation, even if there is a contract, you still can't go to prison. So when they say to you, if you don't pay your council tax, you can go to prison, it's absolute cob's wallop. Okay? It's, it's just, it's rubbish. So there's some amazing, amazing things going on. And like I said, I don't care how you're fighting this. I don't care if you're doing it for your straw man. I don't care if you're doing it um you know because you're you're doing it whatever way you want to do it fight it because the biggest power we have is people standing up and saying no i'm not doing this and if you are going to do it and you own anything and you've got a mortgage challenge it challenge it doing it on honorably do the peacekeepers course join the peacekeepers i think they've got a telegram group i'm not actually sure if the telegram group is very active or not but i'll find out but anyway it's all there but you have to be the one that puts the effort in i'm getting so many messages right now guys i'm sorry i cannot answer every single one of you it's, it's too much for me and we've you know and there are some people that do really need a lot of help um but you need to put the time in. you need to put the effort in you need to research it the only thing that i can do is i can provide the information i can put links out there i can do lives with people like ian like david like you know i've got more lives organized that hopefully i'll be coming up with i'm actually 
hoping to do one with someone. I'm not going to give the name because I don't want to give it away. So, but hopefully in a couple of weeks, I'll be doing a live with someone. I can only bring it to you, okay? I can put it out there. I want to share what I know, what I've learned, what I've researched, what I'm seeing, what I'm reading. I want to tell you because I love it. I love it. I love the knowledge I'm learning and I want to share it with you because I want you to do something about it like I am. And that's what it's for. But then you are the one that has to take control of you. Your energy, your passion, your drive has to see it through. Um, that's what it is. So please, I know I will get back to as many messages as I can. Hi, Andrew. But I can't answer every single one of you. Um, so please bear with me. I'll try to do so. Uh, but the ultimately, do you know something? Um, the courts will drag you in for anything. Um, but you know, if there's no victim, there's no crime, they will try and do you for whatever they want, but you've got to stand your ground. You're the only one that can fight this. So, um, one way is good to share. Exactly, we need to share. I can only share what I've learned. I learn from you, Andrew. I learn from all different people. I love talking to you. I love watching your lives. I think you're great with your knowledge as well. What I put out here is not legal advice. Again, uh, you have to go and do your due diligence and you have to decide what you're going to do with it. I'm going to give you a few uh, things that have been happening, but I saw a letter. I think this letter is to do with Ellie Gray. Um, Ellie Gray has got a website called Power to the People, if I'm right. Uh, if anyone has the link and they want to drop it in here, please do so. And I believe this document here is on Ellie Gray's Power to the People website. Now, whatever I'm about to say, please don't hold me accountable for it because I cannot vouch for this. I will not. Uh... Yes, it could be, Bill. Yes, it could be, Bill. And I'm really hoping it he's going to give me the time. He said he would. Um, so I'm hoping it will come through. I'm really looking forward to that if I can get him on the live. Again, uh, please don't hold me to this. You have to fight the council tax how as best you want. But I want to read you something that I believe Ellie Gray done. Um, I cannot vouch for this, but anything's worth a try. And thank you, Jay. You do need to lose the fear. No one can tell you what to do. No one. Okay. Um, as long as you're not causing any harm, injury, loss, no one can tell you what to do. Chrissy, uh, the committal to prison around council tax is akin to contempt of court, not about debt. Look up these two phrases, culpable, neglect, willful, refusal. It's easy to sidestep this. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, Chrissy is an ex councillor so he's actually been in there and he was doing some great stuff with the council tax um, and he was challenging the system from the inside so he's got some um, inside knowledge shall we say um, it's a shame that you're not there anymore Chrissy but you probably and he's got a, if you don't know Chrissy Morris he's got a, a YouTube going back years I think some of his YouTubes are about 10 years 10 years old to some of these videos and he's been fighting the bailiffs, uh, council tax, everything. He's a proper warrior, amazing man. Uh, and it was great to meet you as well. Um, so whichever way you do it, like I said, I don't care how you do it, please just do something. Please do something. All right. Anything, anything, even if it's talking to people, trying to wake people up, do something, please. Um, this is what we need right now. We need more people waking up. Right, so Ellie Gray has got, oh, let me see if I can get it. Right, um, I wrote a letter. She's got a template. Um, sorry, I've got so many things open um, that I really should be a little bit more organised. Hi, Dave, uh, about this. I think this is it, right. Yes, it is. And um, she wrote this freedom of information request. Right. So if you want to do it in a freedom of information, I'm not saying this is going to work for everyone, but I thought this might be of interest to some of you because, again, there's so many different ways um, to, you know, skin a rabbit or whatever you want to call it. I should have some 
Oh, that's gone. I hate when that happens. Oh, David, I should have some news next week regarding the N244. It's up before a senior judge on Monday. I'm looking forward to that, Andrew. Um, so she's sent a freedom of information request to the council for council tax. It says, dear sir, madam, I would like to request proof of where the residence council tax payments are being sent. One, I would like to see the previous three years of receipts for where the council tax funding is being spent. I do not want to see the percentages, but proof in pounds as to where the annual council tax is being spent. Two, I would like to know if my council tax funds if the council tax funds and you put the, the name of your police services, ambulance service, so the area you live in, uh, and waste collections and schools. If so, would you would like to know as to what percentage it is distributed? Three, which law, not legislation, states that council tax must be paid? Four, which law states that it is a criminal offence not to pay council tax? There is no law. There is no law. Please attach a copy of contract in where I agree to pay for council tax and please keep in mind that an assumptuous agreement does not stand in court. Yours faithfully. So that was the uh, freedom of information request. The interesting thing is, this is the reply she got back, I believe. Again, I cannot vouch for this, so but what I'm saying is, is a template, it is, the template's on a website, which is the Freedom of Information for Council Tax. If someone's got the link to Ellie Gray's website, please drop it here. It's power to the people, something. Now again, I cannot vouch for this, so please try it yourself. You're not gonna lose anything for trying. You're doing something. And once you do something and you try it, you learn. You learn from it and you think, well, that didn't work, so I'm gonna do something else next time. And actually, once you start doing it, yeah, there's a certain kind of addiction that comes with this. <laughs> you start to think, oh, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed challenging these uh, these low lives. So the reply she got from this was, it was really interesting. This is a reply that I've been given from the Valuation Office Agency. Chrissy, if you're listening to this, let me know what you think. And it's um, it says, thank you for your correspondence dated the 16th of August, 2022, regarding council tax public spending concerns. Your complaint was passed on to the relevant department and we have since had a reply. Your questions fall under the qualified exemption category, which means that we have weighed up and assessed the balance of the public interest for and against disclosure and believe that the against outweighs those in favour to justify non-disclosure. As of the 1st of October 2022, the address, and it's been blacked out, will be removed from our register and documented as a resident exempt from council tax. It is important to note that you will be removed from the electoral roll and this may harm your credit score. You can contact us at any point to be added back. So the point here is she's been, whoever this was for, whether it was for her, I don't think it was actually for Ellie uh, because I believe she's not paying anything. They've decided that in the interest of the public, <laughs> in the interest of the public, it is best, better to not disclose the questions, the freedom of information request that she was asking, because they don't want you to know. So therefore, to not disclose it, they've removed this person from the council tax register. Now, fight it however you like. If you've got a mortgage, maybe this might work for you. Who knows? It's worth a try, is it not? That's all I'm saying. I think there is another message to this. Let's have a look. Uh, it is. Uh, this is a message from Ellie Gray. Uh, they emailed me a few months ago and I advised they do everything that I did. So they did the freedom of information to their council and 
got the accounts to show that the money was being spent on rent and mortgages. So someone actually got the information back as well as more election campaigns. So your council money was being spent on rent, mortgages, and as well as election campaigns, they're supposed to be impartial. Also private hospital appointments and staff parties. So then raised a complaint with the VOA stating they refused to pay council tax when they couldn't see one ounce of proof that it goes on what it says it should. And not only that, but they want to know what they will do about it and want the information public. This is um, from Ellie Gray. Who keeps messaging me? Um, so uh, I savour your words and I'm going to share. Oh, thank you. Um, so they then requested to see the um, VOA yearly accounts and outgoings which they refused and sent this reply. So this was, they don't want you to see their accounts because it's all tax fraud. And you know, it's all fraud anyway. They don't want to, you to see that. This is, I think this is great. If you guys can do this, um, I'm actually going to do it. I bet there isn't a person name on that. Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look, let me go back to it. It is from, oh, I can't see it. It's been, it's been, wiped out i can't see i challenged a dvla and they admitted that i will become the owner of the vehicle james you'll have to tell me how you've done it that's really interesting i think i heard a video with your uh recording i'll have to go back to it but please do tell me um that would be great to know yeah the name's been wiped out i can't see who it is so we were in call which is where i met chrissy a few weeks back We've got the great team with Mark Horn challenging the council tax. And I'm just going to get the paperwork wherever that's gone. Um, they are doing some amazing, amazing work, uh, Mark and his team. Um, sorry, I really cannot find where I've put everything. Right, it's there somewhere. And the arguments for this, for the council tax, that the guys put forward were brilliant, brilliant. Now, we didn't have a great result. Um, I think, Chrissy, you told me something about what had happened when you was there a few weeks before. Am I allowed to mention it? Um, let me know. Um, but I'm allowed to talk about what was put forward if you guys want to know uh, if it's going to make a difference and you want to challenge it yourself. Obviously, do the Peacekeepers website. They've got all the information there. And we've got Mark Horn has got a case on the 20th of October at Liverpool. And he's managed to get the council, the magistrates to push the council to answer all his questions, which is great because at this hearing a few weeks ago, they, they, well, just no words, they wouldn't. Now I, I'm going to read to you one of the arguments, one of the um, arguments that the lady put forward as to why does she need to pay council tax so that I can share with you. I can share with you what I heard, what I witnessed. This lady was, I believe, I hope I'm being kind, but she was in her 70s. Um, and what I've seen at these council tax meetings is disgusting by the judges, by the magistrates. They just have no empathy. They don't care what age you are. They don't care if you're disabled. There was one um, gentleman who wanted to pay by cheque. He had the money to pay by cheque, but the council wouldn't accept it. They wouldn't accept a cheque. Um, and he could only pay, but he was in his very, I would say, late 70s, maybe even early 80s. His wife had died. Uh, he didn't deal with the finances. I think he was, you know, of the generation where maybe the wife done all the accounts and he didn't have anything to do with it. I don't know. He couldn't do it. He could only give them a cheque. And he was willing to write the cheque the council would not accept it. He ended up in court. It's shocking, shocking. So 
in uh, Chelmsford Magistrates, this lady put this argument forward. And I'm going to read it. This is her statement. I'm not going to mention, there's no names there anyway. And it's to do with Maldon District Council. They're awful, aren't they? Every council's bad. Again, she was 70s. She was so lovely. So she said, uh, this was her statement. In this matter, I have made every effort to settle it privately. So have met my responsibilities to the court by ensuring I have taken every step not to waste the court's time. I have correctly followed pre-action protocol and ensured all parties have been presented with my evidence and given ample opportunity to review it, even though Malton District Council have not fully engaged in order to bring about a swift resolution. Therefore, the council's not playing ball with her because they just want to get you in the court. They don't want to talk to you because they think they've got the protection of the magistrates. I have made the prosecution aware that in respect of the alleged debt I have had, I have at no time refused to pay, but I am lawfully disputing it, which you have every right to do so. So I am presuming that the court is with the knowledge that this is a public dispute resolution process and is in receipt of all the information laid by both parties. I love a bit of courtroom drama, don't you? So um, I acknowledge that Malden District Council is of the firm belief that there is a debt which has arisen under the Local Government Finance Act 1992 and Council Tax Enfor Enforcement Regulations 1992. They have made a claim against me based in legislation and presented me with a bill which is their belief of entitlement and that I must pay it. I respectfully require that the court take their time in applying their mind to my firm belief, which is in opposition to theirs and which I have evidenced in my paperwork. The following, which have standing today and still remain unchallenged, are foundational to my belief that I cannot be at the mercy of legislation made by HM Parliament that breaches my peace and does not show or prove any obligation that a debt can be created that I must pay. She was amazing, this lady. Absolutely amazing. These are the Bill of Rights 1688, which, when correctly understood, is a legal contract between those who created it and constrains what they do and clearly states that nothing is to be done to the prejudice of the people. Acts of Settlement 1700, this states that law is the birthright of the people. Coronation Oak, Oath Act 1688. I have come to the conclusion based on evidence that there is a misconception that parliament is sovereign over the people when in fact, its true status is agent for the people and they are constrained by the Bill of Rights, the Act of Settlement and the Coronation Oath Act. Therefore, Parliament nor, nor HM government cannot dictate that legislation be followed without a meeting of minds with the people and the people's consent. The prosecution's claims against me is based in legislation. Legislation is a common law contract between the parties that had a meeting of minds to be able to create the contract. So whatever they have agreed on does not apply to me as I was not there and have not agreed to their dictates. If everyone took this lady's attitude and fault like this lady, imagine the power uh, the, the, the change we could make. So they can only bind each other to this contract. Furthermore, all acts which are simply rules and regulations do require consent to be given the force of law. When did you consent to pay council tax? I reiterate that my defence is based on factual evidence, so judicial notice applies. If my evidence is considered inadequate or lacking, I would ask 
that the claimant, Maldon District Council, bring into the court the witness that can provide first-hand cross-examinable testimony that anyone has the right to impose their will on another. If you cannot bring God into the courtroom, there's no witness. If this cannot be done, then a grievous breach of peace is knowingly and measurably being caused. The consequence of the court ruling against my defence without further serious investigation will mean there will have been a lost opportunity to address a catalyst for change that would benefit each and every one in this courtroom today and beyond. Well, it won't benefit the magistrates or the judges because they won't be making any money, will they? But most disappointingly and worrisome, justice will have been thwarted. Truth and equity have to be supreme in an independent court of law and the public need to be able to trust that the due process of law is followed by the independent judiciary who have sworn an oath to uphold it. The judiciary have not sworn an oath to uphold and enforce legislation, statutes or acts of parliament. It is very powerful, it was amazing. Um, if the court states they are obliged to make a liability order to recover the debt, I would like to make a record as to how they reach such a decision based on the evidence presented before it and its obligation to remain unbiased. I remain in honour in this matter and my respect will be for those who do likewise. Do you know what, when she stopped, when she finished reading, I, I wanted to stand up and clap and go, bravo, bravo. It was fantastic. This letter was so powerful. Oh, it was just, you, you, it, on a, and you've got this frail old lady reading this. You have the energy coming from this woman was immense, immense. We all need to do this. We all need to get up there, support each other and put our energy to these people because it will be our energy it doesn't matter if you make a mistake if you it's your energy standing in that room that will make these people weak because they have no grounds they have no grounds so uh the court were proper uncomfortable listening to this i bet they'd never had it put to them before she was amazing exactly now, did she uh, get justice? No, of course not. Of course not. Because let's face it, this is a game of Jenga right now. It is literally a game of Jenga. This movement is so strong. The energy is so powerful. And what we're doing is removing little bricks, okay? And eventually, the right one will be removed. It doesn't matter who does it. This is not a game of egos. This isn't a race of who's going to win, you know, and be champion and be top dog. This is not about that. It doesn't matter because even if it, you're the one that does it, you're doing it with everybody's help. You didn't get there on your own. You got there as a unity. Okay? And we will get there and whoever it is will pull that final brick and the house of cards will come falling down. Jenga, literally, it will come down. And this is, this is it. At the moment, I believe we only have a few moves. We don't have many. Okay. The people are winning. They are putting pressure on. Did she win that day? No, she didn't. Did she inflict fear into these people? Yes, she did. She made them worry because this letter is so powerful. She made them worry. And they know, listen, these magistrates, yeah, they will be on the phone to the next, they've probably got a WhatsApp group, all of them, okay, going, we have a problem. Houston, we have a serious problem. We've got this little old lady here that we underestimated, okay? And she came in with, you know, 20 people. And those 20 people weren't even allowed in the courtroom, all of them, because we can't have them here. We can't have the presence. They stopped us. I was lucky to get in, but they stopped many of us entering the courtroom because it was, oh, we don't have seats. We don't have the seats. Yes, you do. No, we don't. They're for the advocates, but there's no one sitting there. But it doesn't matter. They're for the advocates. This is how worried they are. They didn't want all of us in there. The people will win. 
how, when, I don't care. You've all got to fight how you can. There's, there's no right way, there's no wrong way. The only way is you get up and you do it and you do something like this lady did, okay? And then at the same time, we had another gentleman and he put his case forward. <laughs> and you can tell that the courts are scared, okay? Because you see, what it is is, um, Sean, I think he done a video the other day and he said to me, you have to go into courtroom as king, okay? You have to be as king, which means ask king, asking, asking questions. You have to ask. Don't be scared to ask. You have every right to do so. The courts are there for you. You're the one that pays for them. It's your taxes that pay for them. Without you, they wouldn't have a job. So you're the one there. You need to ask questions. You need to go in as king. Um, so this is what we need. And she went in there. She was amazing. Honestly, we all wanted to get up and clap. It was amazing. We re literally, all of us, I'm, I'm sure even the magistrates wanted to get up and clap, but they couldn't, obviously. Uh, but the little clerk, there was a little clerk at there. She's the one with the brains, you see. She's the little clerk at the front that looks like she's the dumb blonde, but actually she's the one that tells the magistrates what to do and how to do it because she's the one trained in law. You could see the face going red, smoke coming out of her ears. She weren't best pleased. She really was under pressure and she was angry because pressure was on the people were fighting the, the the energy the energy was taking over that courtroom and um we went in and i think uh six or i can't remember how many of us mark and brian and his team made um red high-vis jackets so we put these high-vis jackets we've called auditors on the back you go in you know with your pen and paper and you've got with that in itself puts pressure on the courts because they don't want to be audited because they know that they're not playing by their own rule books. They're breaking their own rules. This is what we need. This is where people power lies. You know, even if you did, even if we didn't fill that piece of paper in, the fact that they were standing there with a notepad and call auditors on us and our eyes are on them. The pressure's on. It really is on. So now Mark has a court date. So uh, the I think the 20th, yes, the 20th of um, October. And he's got a case forward. Now Mark's put it in, he's waiting. And you know, they are basically failing to prove that there is a liability for council tax. He was in court, I think on in August, and the, the magistrates ordered the council to answer all of Mark's questions. I don't think they were actually meant to do that. <laughs> yeah, so they've probably all been sacked because they've managed to put it through. This is what we need. We need someone to get it through. Yeah, we need, you know, the magistrates to put it through. They've managed to do that. And we need a judge. If this judge doesn't do it, we'll find another one. We will find a way. The people will always find a way, okay? Um, should have, we can see you on the front. Should have. We can see on the front. <laughs> it's um. So um, this is now Mark's got his argument on the twentieth. I think they've got until the thirteenth to respond, and there there's a whole list of things that the council tax haven't responded to. Um, caution notice requesting proof of obligation. There's no response to date. Um, that he's sent a warning notice. In fact, all of this. Okay, all of this process is in the Peacekeepers course. So if you want to do it, I'll put the link on here. It's on there. You know, okay, you need to sit down and put a bit of time, put a bit of effort in, um, you know. But, you know, it's, it's going to benefit. It's going to benefit you and your children and their future because we have... A system gone rogue we have governments gone rogue okay and if we don't do something about it now you can imagine what sort of future we're going to have what sort of future our children are going to have you need to act for the safety of your children for the safety of your grandkids you need to do something whatever it is be it the freedom of information be it this be it, if you find something else that works for you like billy and other people that have actually found something that works for them, share it. Let's let's get it out there because 
there isn't one size fit all. We all need to challenge everything. That's right, we do. Um, he's requesting a uh, notice, requesting in person hearing information regarding reason for issuing summons. They just love, and when we're in court, um, the gentleman who spoke up, his name was Lance, he actually had a power of attorney for Mark to speak on his behalf. They refused it. However, because of that, Lance said, well, if that's the case, we refuse the council tax officer to speak on the behalf of the council because she's not legally trained. The reason that the magistrates refused Mark to be speaking on Lance's behalf is because he wasn't legally trained. But no, they couldn't have that, could they? This is how you know that they're not even playing by their own rules because they actually allowed the woman working for the council tax to speak on behalf of the council tax even though she's not legally trained but they wouldn't allow mark to do so even though there was a power of attorney in place corrupt as hell they have become comfortable with doing whatever they want with no consequences time is up thank you chrissy time is up time is up guys let's do something okay now like i said this is jenga the, the reason it's jenga is that if and when not if and when when okay not, not if, it's when, it is a matter of time. When we pull this final piece, however it's gonna be done, because it's not just this fight, there's other fights, okay? There's doing it in different ways, and if we all put the pressure on them, when we pull that final piece, it's not just gonna bring this down, because there's no obligation. If you can prove there's no obligation. You weren't there. You didn't sign the contract. You weren't at the table drinking port with these people when they were making, you know, the contract and having the meeting of minds. You weren't there. You, you didn't hear what it was all about. So therefore, you can't make judgment on yourself because you're, you, you have free will. You've, you know, you, you have the right to think for yourself and to make your own decisions. But to do so, you have to be there. You have to be part of the, of the meeting and you weren't there. So there's no contract, you didn't sign anything. And what kind of a world are we living in? If someone can just say, I'm a corporation, I'm the government, you've got to pay me. It doesn't work like that, that's the mafia. And I'd like to think that we've gone past that. So you weren't there, there's no obligation, there's no contract, and we are protected by the superior laws the Bill of Rights, the Settlements Act, the Coronation Oath, we're protected by these. But these governments have gone rogue and they're trying to change it. They're even trying to change the Human Rights Act. Um, and they're bringing in all these bills. There's no, they cannot do that. They can, they can if you do nothing. They can if you say nothing. They can if you bend over and just let them shaft you. They can do that. This is why we need people with a voice, share this video, share it in groups, share it in messenger, share it with people, okay, that you're going to piss off, yeah, people that don't want to hear me, share it with them, yeah, let, let me annoy them, okay, because I might annoy 10 people, but I might actually get to one, and that one will then pass it on, and this is what it's about, we need to, to start making people realise that they can drop the fear, that they're not contracted to pay this money, that this money doesn't go where they think it goes. This is the beginning of the end of council tax. They will attempt to replace it with direct access to your bank. So the next fight is to keep cash. Absolutely. And, you know, there are people that want to fight back for the utilities. And if they see me and my little orbs, I can actually see orbs flying about, if they see my little orbs with me, <laughs> they might say, actually, this, this crazy woman on, on here right now has got a point. What, why am I paying something that I didn't agree to? You know, do you know that the council tax money doesn't go where you think it goes? If you knew where it really went, you wouldn't be putting your money in your pocket to pay this. Because all you're doing is paying for them and their corrupt lifestyle and their money laundering and whatever else to keep them where they are right now and to keep you the slave that you are and you have been for the whole of your life. GDPR Article 17, right to be forgotten. Um, so if we can Jenga the council tax, it will Jenga everything. It will Jenga the, the right to 
the fact that there is no contract for anything, anything, and you literally are a free man and woman. And only you can decide what you want to pay for. And that's how it is. So on the, um, let's have a look at the, uh, you've got the right, you know, uh, to make your own mind, decide who you're going to pay, uh, get ownership. There is no crown. No, there isn't. So, um, so for instance, one of the points, there's a few points that Mark makes, um, Let's have a look. Uh, the officers and agents of Liverpool City Council dealing with this matter further have had no lawful excuse not to cease and desist with their believed right until they could provide me with evidence showing when and how this debt arose. They can't show you evidence of how this debt came about and instead merely hide behind the claim they are only doing their jobs without following their due diligence of ensuring the orders they are enforcing are lawful, which is no excuse to avoid personal liability. This is another thing that's going to be happening, that Mark and the team and whoever wants to do it, it's all there. And I think Mark has been putting on uh, videos and, and training uh, videos and manuals and stuff. Because the idea, if I'm right, the idea behind this is that they're going to be holding these judges, magistrates, clerks, personally liable. That's, so not going for the corporation, you're going for the person. That's where this is going to make these people not want to, uh, you know, they're not going to want to sit into the council um, courts because no one is going to want to participate and say to someone, you are liable, Mark Horn, you are liable for council tax because when you're presented with all this and you still say, actually, we've come to the conclusion you're liable, you still have to pay. Okay, how did you come to that conclusion? And they didn't tell us. They wouldn't break it down. They wouldn't say what, how they came to that decision, why they came. They didn't tell us. So if you hold these people personally liable because they're not, you're using their rules against them, they're going to start messaging each other in their little secret WhatsApp group saying we've got a problem. No one is going to want to sit in a council group, a council tax uh, call again, are they? These people are going to, they're not going to want to put themselves forward for this because they will know that the people are coming for them. It's that simple. Um, something else, like for instance, a complainant has failed to evidence that their belief can create duties, rights and obligations without consent as each person's birthright and judicial notice must be taken of the following admission by Parliament Assembled that 650 MPs who ultimately control the legislative body which authorises the actions of its agent, HM government and its agents of which the complainant is one, that without consent no person has the right to impose their will or any other as all are equal under the law and no one is above the law. So the Bill of Rights 1688 creates the fiction Parliament Assemble and is the contract resulting from the tyranny of the monarch to be controlled, which defines the respective parties' rights and obligation, affirming it in its first sentence that Parliament Assemble is not sovereign over the people, but admitting that the people are the principal and Parliament Assemble is the people's agent and it is trite, no agent can bind its principles and continuing that it is the right of the people that when those governing are no longer fit for purpose, they can create an alternative governance being each person's ontient right and liberties. We need to, you know... Um, we need to fight back. This is what we're doing. If your boss refuses stating extreme hardship, oh, are you answering something else? Um, all who serve the monarchy are bound to the rights and obligations contained therein and affirming all are equal under the law and no one is above the law. 
and following order, order following is no lawful excuse. Oh, this is, you know, there's, there's a great argument here. There's an absolutely brilliant argument here. And so this is now going up on the 20th, affirming laws and statutes are not the same and affirming all are equal under the law and no one is above the law and whatever this is goes on. Um, it's, there's loads here. There's loads. I mean, I could spend all day reading this. I'm not going to, but, you know, it's there. Um Hold on, there's something. Um, there you go, right? The people create the law of the land in the independent courts. Um, so governance is subject to the law of the land and the people create the law of the land in the independent courts. And, and this is one of the most important things, right? I don't care if you believe in God or you don't believe in God. The Bible is a very powerful document in law, okay? So drop all this atheist stuff it's not about that but until someone can bring creation or the creator into a court to provide first-hand cross-examinable witness testimony that any individual or group of individuals such as parliament assemble independent legisl legislature where ultimately the power lies with the 650 mps and its agent government can impose their will on 67 million people then it is self-evident that no individual or group of individual persons incorporated or incorporated has authority to deny another of their birthright which includes the right to seek shelter from the environment air water and food i think that's what's happening right now isn't it and all are equal under the law and no one is above the law. We are actually being denied, okay, uh, our birthrights, which includes air, food and the essentials, because at the end of the day, they're taking all of this away from us. Attachment of any, anyway, so it goes on. But what's this? Uh, this will be held on the 20th i'm hoping to be there so that i can come back and tell you what happens you've got to challenge it you've got to challenge everything if you join uh mark's uh, peacekeeping um, website and you do his courses it's free you don't need to pay for it I, I believe it's free i don't i'm pretty sure you don't need to pay for it um you can challenge a lot through this process, okay? Not just council tax, but there's, there's, there's a lot more that you can challenge. Um, again, for anyone that's just joined, um, I just wanna say again, if anyone thinks that council tax is an imprisonable offense, um, in your human rights, European Convention of Human Rights, it tells you in there, page 36, article 31, uh, article one, the prohibition of imprisonment for debt. You cannot be put in prison for debt. Again, no one should be deprived of his liberty merely on the grounds of the inability to fulfill a contractual obligation. So even if there was a contract, even if there is an obligation for your contract that you, you've agreed to, you still can't be put in prison for this. So, you know, we have, the people have the power, okay? Um, there is also, I think here, Mark who, please, where can I get his information? It's Mark Horn, and I will put, has anyone put a link in here? I'm not sure, but I will put the link to his group. So if anyone can put the link in here, please do. But I will also put the link to his group at the end of this live. I will put it on the top, okay? Um, I'll put the link to, if I can find Ellie Gray's uh, website, I'll put the link to that as well. Uh, okay. Oh, Norman. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll call you. Um, I'll put her link to her website because you can get some free templates downloaded there. And, um, you know, I, we have to do something. Okay. We have to do something guys. We are, 
I never agreed a contract. No, no one's agreed a contract with, with council tax. None of us have. So um, we have to do something. We can't sit here now. This is not the time to sit here and watch shitty TV and sit there watching bloody useless stuff on TV. It's time to sit there, drop your shows, you drop your soap operas, do something. This is not about getting away with paying for things, okay? This is about doing what's right. And you're not paying for them to stay in their positions, all right, to dictate to you and spend your money, which you could be spending and looking after your family that they're taking away from you where they're spending it fraudulently. She has old templates copied from years ago. They are no good. But who, me? Have I got old templates here? Um, anyway, so we need to, well, hopefully the, if it's, if, if you're saying that I've got old templates, then I'll put the new link in. I'm sure it's all there. Um, no one's allowed to dictate to you. The sooner we learn this, this is not what makes society, okay? Someone telling you, you've got to pay for this, you've got to pay for that. You've got to do this and you can't, that's not what society is. Actually, that's what they've created as a society, but that's not what being, you know, a man or woman or, or human is. We need to start stop this slave thinking come on this is not how you want to live um oh ellie oh she's got old templates but she's got a new one on there peacekeepers.org there you go i'll put it up the top anyway um we need to stop this slave thinking okay so if you've come across me and you're new to me please don't think that society is organized and that you should be paying this because you know it's going to the police it's going to the uh, rubbish collection it's going it doesn't it doesn't go to any of that and we need to start having wealth distributed fairly and at the moment it's not and if you've got a family an old lady you know a, f a family of whatever or anyone for that matter sitting there this winter in the, in the next, you know, people are already putting their heating on, all right? Having to choose between heating and food, that's not fair, is it? That's not wealth being distributed fairly. That, you know, and the other thing is, you know, there's a, are we slaves? Because if you're not a slave, that means you've got a choice. And if someone says, you haven't got a choice that means you've, you're a slave that means slavery still exists i thought it was abolished clearly not because if someone's saying to me you haven't got a choice then that means i'm a slave do i want to be a slave no i don't um I, t I think it's gone i think i might have shut it by accident yeah i'd have anyway so that is it we are not slaves we need to take control we need to fight back we need to challenge the system every way we can. We need to learn from that lovely, mature lady in her 70s in that courtroom who read out that, you know, uh, document and she done it with so much dignity and strength. She was amazing. We need to be, we need to be united and doing that too. So... That's it from me. Um, I'm going to put, they pray on the uninformed and fear the wise. I have really enjoyed you. Oh, thank you. You're live. You have explained things really well. Thank you, Chris. I try, as I'm learning, I try to explain uh, as best as I can. I always say, that I believe there's not one way of doing things, okay? I'll, I put out to you whatever you know whatever i learn whatever i come across if i think it can help i'll put it to you you've got to try it if it if it works for you then it works you know because there's many different ways and uh but i do believe we are at that jenga stage honestly i do i think a few more moves and we're gonna we're gonna get them how long this is gonna take who knows okay um hopefully you know it, we just got to keep fighting we've got to keep doing it there's no choice you either you either give up now and say, right, I don't care. And you sit there and say, 
well, there's nothing you can do about it. It's always been like this. It'll always be like this. And, you know, the system's too big. They're too powerful. And that's you bending over and basically allowing them to keep shafting you up the backside. Well, if you're happy with that, then that's up to you. You've got free will. If you're, you know, of that mindset that you can never change the system, you can't do anything about it. It'll always be like this. It's always been like this. I'm all right, Jack, as long as I'm all right, Jack, I don't care. As long as I'm earning my money, I don't care. That's up to you. You've got your choice. I am not. I believe in justice. I believe in fairness. I believe that people should have a choice on what they do with their money. I believe that people should go back to community spirit. That's what I believe that, you know, we should go back to having our little businesses and have, you know, Annie's down the road who used to make the bread and, you know, go back to supporting farmers directly without these farmers having all the pressures of acts and legislations that they have to meet this requirement and the little business that wants to grow and not have all these acts and legislations on these business, you know. Actually, in all fairness, I also believe that you should be able to take your kids to work, to work with you without them coming down on you and saying no that child's too young to be here but this is a family run business we're allowed to have our kids there this is what they're learning this is a family no it's health and safety health and safety health and safety health and safety regulations acts and statues have ruined people's lives have ruined people's business that's what i believe and i believe we should go back to having a choice if i want my kids working with me in my restaurant in my property in my farm in what i should be entitled to do that that's what i believe because we are free, or we should be anyway. And if we can't make the choice, then we're not free, we're slaves. And I don't wanna be a slave. And I don't wanna bend over and keep getting it shafted up the backside and be happy with that. That's not me, um, sorry. So, like I said, there's no one right way. I support everyone, everyone and anyone that's challenging the system. I support you, I'm there, I'll be there, I'll do whatever I can, I'll spread the word. I'll work with you, I've met some amazing people as well. I've been connecting with some amazing minds, brainstorming. Ian, love Ian, his work. At the moment, I think he's taking time out because he's been inundated. You know, Mark Horn and his team, I think they're amazing. Brian uh, has been putting a lot of work into this and I support them, okay, because they're doing something. And I've got other guys that I'm connecting with and we've got the KRC group, the people that are fighting for repossession, um, you know, stopping people's houses being repossessed. If we do nothing, then we consent, don't we? And I don't consent. I can't. We can't. It's not in me. It's not in me to just sit there and do nothing. When I see from a young girl, from a little girl, I used to say to my, my parents, I said, but that's not right. Yeah, but they can't do that. Yeah, but that's not fair. And all you get told is, yeah, but that's life. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's, that's the law, that's the rules, that's how it is, that's you have to pay taxes, you have to do, is it? Really? Well, now we are at a time in our lives where we have the opportunity with the knowledge, technology, the social media that we can use and backfire onto these people. They, they messed up with social media, okay? I can tell you that now, they completely messed up so bad you know, that they need to bring bills or try and push bills through Parliament. Um, yeah, look, how is a bill put through Parliament? Okay, a bill has to be passed through both houses. It is then sent to the Queen for royal assent. And once it has royal assent, a bill comes becomes an act of Parliament. And it is law of the land. Was the Coronavirus Act a law? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was, it was nothing. It was nothing literally yet look how many people consented to wearing that poxy mask through fear mind games manipulation so um i'm seeing a lot of unjust going on but all but i don't see people um letting it beat them in fact most of the people that are fighting the bailiffs and are fighting this are actually coming back stronger yeah, because what's happening is once you fight these people once, you drop the fear. You realise 
you've, you've had that initial fight, you've realized what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? You know, you're still alive, you've still got your health. Most of you are probably fighting utilities, they're still away. Even if they break in and change your meters, they're still away. You haven't been put in prison. Whatever you do, do it peaceful, don't fight literally unless you know evidence everything video everything document everything put get your rights um you know on the table know what you're doing and you come back stronger that's it it's that simple so i'm going now i just wanted to share this with you try and empower people please spread the word um share the video tag people share it in groups in messages uh, sorry in messages more than anything because I'm shadow banned and I'm trying to reach the people that are on the, the fence I'm trying to reach the people that are you know they, they 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 don't like the system and they're not sure you know they know something's not right but they don't know what to do they're the people we need to reach yeah they're the ones and they're the ones that Facebook will, is stopping and the only way we can reach these people Hi, babe. <laughs> um, uh, the only way we can reach these people is through Messenger, through messages. Send them WhatsApp links. Send them a link of this on your WhatsApp. Put it on your WhatsApp site. Do it that way because we need to reach as many people as we can. The ones that are sitting on the fence, they know it's not right, but they don't know what to do. And the other thing is, most of these people don't realize that there is a big movement in people fighting back they don't realize okay they think oh we're only but the minority if only they knew and that's why we need to get that message out there because there is a huge movement and i don't care about the people that go oh the movement the movement there is no movement there is a movement okay forget the egos drop the ones with the egos drop the ones making money we don't want them let them get on with it drop the ones criticizing we ain't got time for them but there is still a movement of people whose energy and passion is driving this forward and they're the ones that we need to focus on they're the ones that we need to share and it's these people that are going to reach out and you you guys sharing this talking to people i mean i've had people message me saying your video helped my mum not have her jab it's like wow really my voice my video has actually done that so to me i've done something right but i couldn't do it without you without you sharing it that's how it is i don't have all the answers i don't i'm not correcting everything all i've got i've got the drive i've got the passion i've got the voice i've got the determination i love people i want to connect to people and i want to make a difference that's what i've got that's what i want to do and i'm learning i'm learning from amazing people i love learning I love meeting people. I love making people happy. I love changing people's life for the better. I will do whatever I can within my power, within my finances, with whatever I can. That's me. But I need you guys to share the videos, share the word. Let me move this a bit because the sun's going. And yeah, and fight. Challenge it. Again, put your money away. If you're going to challenge council tax, make sure you put your money away, okay? Because there may come a point that you will have to pay it because I do not, especially if you own a property, but if you challenge it for five, six, seven months, however long it takes, you're putting a dent in their system. You're putting pressure. We don't take their word. Words without substance is challenge for mis malfeasance, proof of claim, or they have agreed to the wrong and the penalty now owned. So yeah, exactly. You know, there is no proof. There's no contract. You are more than what you realize you are you have more power than what you realize you've got and if you make a mistake you learn you don't give up you get up you brush yourself off and you come back fighting okay right i'm going now <laughs> hi becky i'm going now <laughs> um right much love to you all dave i'll speak to you soon i'm hoping to do that live with yes david higgs hopefully fingers crossed david higgs i'm looking forward to it and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye for now. Bye.